All right, Barry, you're up, bro. Hi, guys. Welcome to Lee Reacts. I hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. We are back with another request from our hot streaker, Barry. He is on a hot streak of uh, requests that have just been absolute hit after hit. Uh, the last one broke me. <laughs> it really did. And um, it was one of my best videos and nobody watched it. But I'm fine with that because that's how it goes. Uh, Travis Meadows. Man, that was that shit broke me. But today, this is a, on the other spectrum. This is a uh, the opposite of a crying song, apparently. Uh, we're going to be listening to The Dirty Loops. The song is called Work Shit Out. Uh, this was released in 2020. It is off the album called Phoenix. Uh, they are from Sweden. Stockholm, Sweden. Yeah. So, let's get it. I've never heard of them before. Let's go. If y'all are not subscribed, please help a brother out. Click that icon right below my ugly mug. Somewhere down there. I really appreciate it. It takes like two seconds. It's absolutely free. And, uh... Really helps channel out. We're almost a 14k, which is insane. We were at like 8,000 like a month and a half ago. <laughs> it's so crazy. All right, here we go. Dirty loops, work shit out. Three, two, one, go. I got the sunlight, you bring the rain, I'm gonna drop but if I fall out then I got no one to be to Oh, it's a cover. I know this song, I think. But still I got the sparkle, I'm soaking up the heat, cause I know I should resist but I'm so good for the kiss so sweet. Oh, that bass, god damn. Oh my god, double keying it up. I almost dropped my phone, so I couldn't do that. Ooh. All that roll. Oh my god. So they just do like jazz fusion covers and stuff? That's amazing, dude. Oh, come on. Hi hat. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, 
dude, Bear, you rock, bro. <laughs> Just three guys. That's insane the sound coming from this. Okay, Yon. Composition is genius. Oh, fuck yeah. What's up, bro? What you got for me? Better done. He's got some reach, bro. That one ride is like, oh, the crash is so far away. Look at those arms, bro. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, those changes were insane. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, that is sinister, bro. God, yes! That symbol sounds so good. <laughs> Dude. Okay, this kid is insane, man. I say kid, he's probably my age. Fuck. Props to him, dude. So... Steven. So is that not even a cover? I swear I've heard that before then. If that is not a cover... Yeah, it's a song by Beyonce, isn't it? No? Okay, I'm so confused. Because I swear I've heard that before then. If that's not a cover... Like, what the fuck? I have to figure that out now, because now... I'm confused because it was so good and I want to get this right. Dirty loops. I don't know, dude. I'm trying to find it. Either way, um, that was a fantastic track. Uh, <laughs> I guess it wasn't a cover. I I swear in the very beginning when they started singing that shit, I I totally recognized it. Maybe it is. I don't know. I know that y'all let me know. Either way, um, cover or not, that was fucking fantastic. Uh, thank you, Barry, for setting that in. Uh, I love jazz fusion so much, man. It's like my new favorite genre that we found on here. Um, 
Just like how I thought you can do anything with Prague, you can do anything and then some with Jazz Fusion. I mean, you literally can do anything you want. Um, we did, what, Romantic Warrior from Return to Forever, I think, like, a week or two ago. That was a berry pick. Insane. Uh, like, there was parts of this that reminded me of that track, um, tra- like, in the second half, especially when things started, like, turning, like, sinister sounding. Like, I loved how they had that crazy poppy kind of jazzy sound in the first half. Then in the second half, it's this dark, ominous, just uh, tour de force, basically. You know, it reminded me of, like, King Crimson's Red at points with, like, the intensity that of, like, the buildups. And then um, the drummer, uh, Aaron, uh, his solo that he had there, man, at the end, that was fucking fantastic. Like, I love jazz drummers so much, dude. Like, I really want to just sit down and learn everything I can for them because jazz was not my thing. So, like, it, it's so interesting seeing him play things like that. And there's so many just, like, off-tempo, off-kilter, weird rhythms and beats they do and just... Like, the extension of his arms, his arms were so long. Like, that one crash symbol, I couldn't even reach that shit. It was so far away. Uh, but, man, he was killing it. And it's just that just three dudes, and they make that sound. It's just a huge sound. It was expansive. Like, I know this is recorded in 2020, so the production, of course, is going to be fucking stellar. Um, <laughs> I started to play the song again. Uh, but at the same time, like it, it's, it felt kind of older, especially in the second half of the composition. The first half felt very modern. The second half, uh, with like a sort of improv kind of feel to the jazz sound, like it definitely harkened back to some of the older stuff that we've been listening to on the channel and the jazz fusion genre. Um, there's even a little bit of Zappa in there at points that I've heard. I, there's a lot of different things, especially in that second half. Once it took a turn, there was a lot of different influences there. And, uh, I recognized a few of them and that made me happy. Um, the vocals were great in the beginning. Um, the lyrics, I don't know. Like, that's why I felt like it was a cover because the lyrics do not feel like, do not fit the song like whatsoever. I, that's why I felt like that was definitely like lifted from somewhere else. But if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And this is part of the song. Then the lyrics were, I don't know. I wasn't the biggest fan of the lyrics then. The way he sang though, his vocals were fucking fantastic though. And his keyboards were fantastic. The bass player with that tone. Oh, my God. He was just sitting there looking so fucking smug. Them fucking bass players, bro. Like, I swear to God. Uh, but, man, what a killer rhythm section. They were just sitting there. just He was just sitting there chilling, bro. Just, like, killing it. I mean, oh, my God. And at the end, when they're kind of, like, talking shit back and forth to each other, having a good time, man, that just, like, made my heart so happy. I love seeing artists and musicians have fun because I feel like creatives go through so much shit especially the ones at the bottom. You work your fucking ass off for absolutely nothing but your own gratification, basically. You're not getting any monetary value out of it. You're not making hardly anything. Uh, People don't even know who you are, but the only person uh, that really appreciates your art is you. You know what I mean? Um, And when you have to work at the bottom like that, you know, you have to get your fan base and, you know, build whatever slowly, you know, inch by inch. But once you get there, you're there. But you, I swear people forget the struggle you know like once you get there because like once you're like a top tier talent and like creative stuff like you'll make money no matter what you can write books you can do whatever you know what i'm saying but once you have that notoriety that fame that whatever celebrity basically but for all the creatives at the bottom that are still working their asses off to like just make it by and still feel like they're doing something creative at the end of the day and they're putting their spirit out into the world you know i don't know man I feel bad for those people nowadays because the mighty boot of Spotify and Pandora and streaming, like it's killed everything, man. We we wanted things instantly. We wanted that we wanted that instant gratification. We didn't want to wait an entire season to watch a TV show. We wanted to watch it all in two days. You know what I mean? Like we're just so spoiled. And we're just spoiled rotten. We're all just children, I feel like sometimes. We're just even adult pretending to be, you know, we're children pretending to be adults, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know, like, I just can't take some people seriously sometimes. Like, I feel like I'm a child on the inside, but then I see people like more than twice my age act like they're five years old. And it's just like, maybe we never really do grow up. Maybe it all is just a lie we tell ourselves to make ourselves feel better. And then we die. Who knows? But um, more than anything, that reminded me of Snarky Puppy, that Lingus song we listened to a couple, like a week or two ago, which is another Barry pick. Barry, what are you doing, man? I don't know what's in the water and where you're at, but I want some of it because you're on another, like this is like 
Song 11. Jesus Christ, man. But yeah, I'm not going to keep you. That was great. If y'all have any other tracks by them, please leave it below. I'll definitely check them out. I saw that they do covers of like Justin Bieber and Beyonce. I saw that on their Wikipedia page. And like, I know those songs, obviously, because I've worked in restaurants for most of my life and they play pop music on the radio and it, oh God. I remember one time they played a metal song and I was like, are y'all trying to fuck with me? You, you, you've been playing Taylor Swift nonstop for the past five years and now you play metal? Come on. <laughs> uh, I think that's it out of me, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, sorry if I didn't know if it was a cover or not. It definitely sounded like one in the beginning. And I will not let this go because now I'm going to be embarrassed if it's... I, now I'm, I'm wrong no matter what because I've said too much. You're going crazy, Lee. <laughs> If y'all don't know me, Patreon right here. That's an image of it. There's a link in the description. If you join the $10 tier or up, you get one free request a month. Only one. Doesn't roll over. Um, and you can uh, just try to keep it under 25 to 20 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Unless you're in like the $30 tier, then you can pick whatever you want. I don't care. But um, if you're in the $10 tier, try to keep it under 20 minutes. Um, especially if you're sending requests in on PayPal. If you're, you know, I'm going to have to set up a whole system now because I'm kind of, yeah, I'm... Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna have to set a system up now to actually have prices for things because it's I don't know I've, I, I'm not even gonna get into it here but yeah there's next month there's gonna be some changes for like the PayPal request and everything um, but yeah that was great and if y'all want to support the channel that way uh, you can do Patreon if you want hours and hours of bonus content there's like full album reactions to like the Beatles tons of King Crimson songs and Frank Zappa that got blocked there's a bunch of random stuff on there a bunch of good stuff hours of stuff that you haven't seen um you can join any of the tiers and you'll get access to that. Our community chats. We have got almost 300 people over there now, which is absolutely nuts. And we have a great time, man. Then come hang out at the premieres. Uh, we like to shoot the shit, you know, watch the music video, make fun of my dumb ass when I fuck shit up like I do with this, you know, if it's a cover or not, you know. Leave it alone, Lee. Um, so, yeah, I think that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you all have a good weekend, day, whatever. 